Hi, and welcome to today's lesson, Identifying Polygons. We're going to look at some examples and non-examples of polygons and regular polygons, as well as some markings. The first way you know something is a polygon is that polygons have at least three sides. Here in our example, we have a triangle. In our non-example here, we notice that there's only two sides and they don't connect all the way from here and here. You would need at least three sides for that. That's one of the reasons polygons have to have at least three sides. Next, polygons are closed figures. So we can see that in this example, both of these have line segments that meet at a vertex, but both of these are open. So because they, the line segments do not meet and because these are lines and not line segments, um, they do not create a closed figure. So these are not polygons. A third way we know something is a polygon is because polygons have straight lines. So even though these lines um, are going to be creating this star shape where some of the angles look a little different than you may have seen in some of the other polygons, um, they are all straight lines, whereas this shape has a curvy line on the bottom. That's why it's not a polygon, even though it is a closed figure. Polygons have lines that do not cross. So this would be an example, all of these are examples of none of the lines are crossing. None of these lines cross, but in this example, they do. So it looks like two triangles, but it's really just one shape in which the lines are crossing each other. So this is not an example of a polygon, even though it does have straight lines and it has more than three sides. Finally, we know that polygons are two dimensional, which means they are flat figures. So once again, all of these would be examples of polygons because they are all flat. And this is an example of a three dimensional figure. So it would not be a polygon. Let's look at regular polygons. These are all examples of regular polygons. They all have their own name based on how many sides they have. Triangle has three sides, quad, quadrilateral, quad means four, it has four sides. Um, pentagon has five sides and so on. So in regular polygons, all the sides are equal length. So we can see this is not an example of a regular polygon, although it is a polygon, it's not a regular polygon because this side is bigger than these other sides. This is the same. Uh, this side is shorter. So because it has one, two, three, four, five sides, this is a pentagon, but it is not a regular pentagon that we would normally think of because all of the sides are not the same length. And regular polygons also have all angles, all angles that are equal as well. So if you look over here, it's hard to tell, but these are all going to be the same measure because all the angles are the same size. It's, it's a little easier to tell here because we can tell they're all right angles. So they're all 90 degrees. Um, but on these shapes, the angles are not equal. So you can see that this is a much different angle here and here. The same thing with this one. This one has um, several side lengths that are the same measure, um, but does not have equal angles. Finally, let's get into um, using markings to help you identify congruent angles and side lengths. This will help you with identifying if something is a polygon or if it is a regular polygon. The first thing that we're going to look at are the angles here. So those are all 90 degrees. And whenever you see this square marking in the corner of an angle, that means it is a right angle. Next, we have these little arrows that are on the lines. Those are marking parallel lines, which means that these two lines across from each other are parallel and these ones across from each other are parallel. It says you can tell the difference between the yellow being parallel to each other and the red by the number of these arrows that you see. So here you have one arrow, so that means those two are parallel. Here you have two arrows, so these two are parallel. These markings right here are indicating side length. So this is a congruent side length when they all have the same number of hatch marks is what we call them. So same number of marks means congruent length. Notice how these have one hatch mark and these have two hatch marks. So that means the purple are congruent to each other and the green are congruent to each other. Next, we have the same angle symbol. 
So we can see that all of these on this pentagon have exactly the same number of lines in this angle symbol. That means that all of those have the same angle measure. Down here in this triangle, we notice this has one line and these have two. That means that the red are going to be congruent. The same number of curves means congruent angles and the blue is not congruent to these red. Let's recap. Characteristics of polygons include straight lines, closed figure, three or more sides, and lines that do not intersect. We also spoke about how they are flat or two-dimensional figures. Regular polygons must have all sides equal and all angles equal. That wraps up our lesson. Thanks so much for tuning in. Feel free to click to subscribe for this and other lessons. Until next time.